now enforces the largest software services exporter in India beats street expectations with a consolidated net profit falling. The company reported a net profit of 2,886 crore for quarter ended June 2014, down 3.5% compared to 2,992 crore rupees in the previous quarter. The Bengaluru-based IT major sees its dollar revenue for 2014-15 growing at 7 to 9%. Analysts, on an average, had expected profits of 2,698 crore rupees for the quarter. The company had reported a profit of 2,992 crores in the March 2014 quarter. Now, the stock opened at 3,401 and touched a high of 3,432, its highest level since March 14. This year on the NSE. One factor in forces, which named Vishal Sikha, a former senior executive at German software company SAP AG as CEO last month, has been reeling under a staff exodus and loss of market share to rivals. One factor, employee attrition rates are worrisome. This is what uh, the chief operating officer, UB Pravin Rao, has stated in a statement to the company or to accompany the results on Friday and that uh, they are implementing various initiatives to retain good talent. The staff departures are a major worry for the company, as I stated, which saw its annualized staff attrition rate touching a record high of 19.5% in the quarter ended June 30 from 18.7% in the previous quarter. Now, Infosys, which added 61 customers in the quarter, maintained its revenue growth forecast for the year to March 2015 at 7-9% as expected. Our consolidated net profit for the quarter ended June 30 rose to 28.86 billion rupees, which is about 480.20 million US dollars from 23.74 billion rupees in the same year ago period. Now, the profit was higher than the 26.72 billion rupees average of uh, analyst estimates. Now, revenue in the quarter also rose 13.3% to 127.70 billion rupees. Enforces customers include BT Group, Bank of America, and Volkswagen AG. Now, the rains are here, and that is causing nuisance to many bus commuters in the city. With many bus stops not having any shelter at all, commuters are forced to stand in the open, braving the chilly winds and rains. Now, there are many locations, be it Alsur, Indranagar, Old Madras Road, and Domlur. The one comes across these shelterless bus stops. Now, what makes it worse for these people is that the companies that are actually present over there, their security guards force the people not to stand in front of that particular business house. So people are basically forced to stand sometimes on the footpath without any shelter. And at other times, the security guards of those companies make a noise even on the roads. Now, this is pretty common in areas such as Alsur, in Domlur, in Indranagar, and also on Old Madras Road. Now, senior lawyer Uday U. Lalit will be appointed as the Supreme Court judge. He had represented Amit Shah, the current national BJP president, in two high-profile criminal cases. Now, Uday Lalit has been elevated as Supreme Court judge after the government controversially rejected Gopal Subramaniam last month. The Supreme Court panel, led by Chief Justice of India, has recommended Lalit's name, along with three others, for the top court. Now, the list was sent to the law ministry, the prime minister, and finally, President Pranam Mukherjee. They now have picked Uday Lalit as a Supreme Court judge. Now, Mr. Lalit, who hails from Maharashtra, joined the bar in June 1983 and has been practicing in the Apex Court since 1986. He worked with the former Attorney General, Soli J. Sorabji, from 1986 to 1992. He has appeared in a number of leading criminal cases, including the one against Hassan Ali Khan, the Pune businessman accused of money laundering. He has also appeared for the former Gujarat Home Minister and also the National President of the BJP, Amit Shah, in the fake encounter case of Sorabuddin Sheikh and Tulsiram Prajapati. 
He was appointed special public prosecutor in 2011 for the 2G scam cases. He will now have a tenure of about seven years as a Supreme Court judge. Now trouble has mounted for MLA Vijay Anand Kashapanawar and Rowdy Sheeter Som Shekhar Gowda. The city civil court yesterday rejected a doer's anticipatory bail plea, citing that the charges are serious and cannot be taken lightly. Following this, the cops have launched a manhunt for Som Shekhar Gowda as he failed to appear before them even after accepting the notice. Though the MLA is safe despite having his anticipatory bail rejected, the MLA's aide Som Shekhar Gowda or Some Gowda is not. This is because Vijay Anand has cooperated with the police for questioning, but Some Gowda has evaded the police so far. We have information that uh, the CCB's counterparts in Tamil Nadu are helping them in trying to trace where he is in Tamil Nadu. Meanwhile, MLA Vijay Anand might not be arrested as he has appeared for questioning. Vijay Anand Kashapanavar and Somshekar Gowda are accused of assaulting two cops from the Kabin Park police station at Skybar. Now, the CCB, however, said that they will not arrest the MLA immediately as he is cooperating with the probe and has also been questioned by the CCB. Well, we have some big news coming in now. Obama sends formal invite to Prime Minister Modi. In fact, this is the news that we're now tracking. President Obama sends formal invite to Prime Minister Modi. U.S. Deputy Secretary of State meets the Prime Minister. Now, Modi is to visit U.S. in, this, in the month of September. Well, in fact, uh, this is the big news that we're now tracking. President Barack Obama sends a formal invite to Prime Minister Narendra Modi. U.S. Deputy Secretary of State meets the Prime Minister. Prime Minister Modi is to visit the U.S. in the month of September. Well, for more on this, I'm joined by my colleague uh, Arun. Arun, we are, this was already known much earlier that he would be visiting the U.S. in September. Now, here comes a formal invite. Can you give us more information on this? That's right, uh, Nolan. So perhaps uh, that indicates the uh, uh, f freezing of the thaw that had developed. Remember, there was a lot of opposition to the idea of Narendra Modi visiting the U.S. In fact, there were a few occasions in the past when he was expected to be in the U.S. to address uh, NRIs but couldn't do so and then had to resort to video conferencing. Uh, th there was a lot of hesitation uh, ahead of uh, even the polls, but then once the polls clearly indicated that uh, the BJP and the NDA will be the one which will form the next government. Uh, there was obviously a uh, defreezing in the uh, cold, uh, cold shouldering of Narendra Modi. Then there was this uh, letter um, sent by President Obama. He himself called up Narendra Modi, congratulated him. So it now appears that uh, they are trying to mend the fence, and that's the reason why this particular formal invite uh, holds a lot of... Uh, significant importance because uh, remember that will not only allow uh, Narendra Modi to go down to uh, New York uh, to uh, attend the Gen UN General Assembly which will be in session at that point of time but also allow him to meet up with President Barack Obama and Obama knows at this point of time that economics matters more than politics because the US is, in, uh, is virtually grinding to a halt it needs new markets and that's the reason why Perhaps yesterday's decision of the finance minister to relax the FDI norms and insurance suddenly seemed to have as acted as an incentive to the U.S. administration to actually extend the formal invite. So you can't dismiss the fact that politics and business are going once, ha once again hand in hand. And the U.S. administration, uh, led by President Barack Obama, realizes this very well, uh, Nolan. Right, uh, Arun, thank you very much uh, for all those uh, details. In fact, uh, the big news that we're now tracking, President Obama sends a formal invite to Prime Minister Modi. U.S. Deputy Secretary of State Burns met the Prime Minister. And Modi is expected to visit U.S. in the month of September.
fact, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi also thanked uh, the U.S. President for his uh, invite. Now, earlier on, it was already stated that uh, an invitation was actually sent or, or he was invited to go over there and Prime Minister Narendra Modi had accepted. But now this is uh, all about it being formal. We now slip into another short break. More news will continue on the other side.